Big win for you, man. It was a, it was a tough fight, man. A hard fight all the way through. That's for sure. Give, give me your idea of, of you know, how you felt about your performance tonight. You know, I'm not too happy with it. You know, my my re I resorted to my wrestling. Usually, I'm a striker. Um, I had to go to it. It seems like every time I'm out here, my arm just gets so heavy and I can't throw them. But uh, I'm sure everybody knows I can I can get down with the hands too. But I, I showed a different part of my game. I can wrestle with the best, you know, and grapple with the best. I feel he's a great grappler, and I feel I shut him down in that in that aspect. So yeah, feeling good, man. The ATT crew here with you. Talk about that movement. Why, why was that the place you sought out, and why was that the move you made? You know, uh, Florida, I've always looked at ATT. It was one of, in Militage, when I trained at Militage, ATT was kind of like a gym that our guys used to go to and train. So it was always on my mind. Um, I know they have so many small guys, the best coaches in the world, you know, best training partners in the world. So getting out there was a huge part of it. And I, you know, I give all glory to God for allowing that to happen. There were some great grappling exchanges tonight. Were you in trouble at any point? You had a couple of attempts on you. Man, uh, guillotines are something I always, I always fight off really well. On the show, I, I fought Tim Elliott, and he went for a 1,000 of those. Man, I can fight those all day. I, I take pride in my uh, grappling defense. So, you know, that's something I, f I take pride in, man. I feel that nobody can submit me in the world. You get to read the scores. You're, you're familiar with split decisions at this point in your life. But uh, what's what's going through your head as is, is they're reading the scores? I thought I had all three rounds. But again, you know, that's why you don't leave it to the judges. Uh, something I'm going to work on at ATT. Definitely coaches are going to go back to the drawing board. And we're going to come back better. We always do. So uh, I'm just I'm excited to see what the future brings. Yeah, and last thing for me. Uh, I mean, I know you were focused on this fight, but you know, I'm sure you've seen the headlines with the flyweight division and people getting cut and that sort of thing. Give us an idea. I mean, what have you been told? What are you expecting? What, what, what do you see? Uh, for me, man, I'm just, uh, you know, keeping it all in God's hands. You know, at the end of the day, you know, that's all I focus on. You know, I come in here, I do what I got to do. Um, but again, there's rumors I've heard about the flyweight division being gone a long time ago, and we're still here, you know. And, uh, you know, we got a champion like Cejudo, and we got T -T coming, TJ coming down to fight him. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I just want to focus on this win, go out back to the gym, go back to drawing boards, get back to my striking ways, and just go out and, and dominate my next fight. Yeah, that's what I was last about. Could you, could, could you compete at 35, you think, if that, if that had to be? hundred percent I could compete at 35. I compete with anybody in the world at 35 and below. So I'm excited. I can bulk up and go up. You know, it's nothing to me. I'm down for whatever. What are you thinking of when you're seeing flyweights get cut this week, like Shorty Torres saying he just got let go, Justice Scoggins saying he just got let go? You know, again, I, I give all glory to God. So, you know, I'm here for a reason. You know, they could easily cut me, but, you know, because of God, I'm here and I was able to get another fight and win. So I'm coming off a win. I think that holds me well, you know, where I'm at. And, uh, you know, again, I'm going to just stay focused on this win and whatever comes my way, I'm ready for. So I'm definitely going to just stay focused on my grind. What did you think of when you heard the opposing 30-27 scorecards? <laughs> I was mind blown. I didn't know what they were watching. But again, that's why you don't leave it to the judges, man, because you can get robbed. I feel I've been robbed a few of my fights. I could easily be 4-1 and one right now. But, uh, you know, it, it leads to the judges, and that's the risk you take. What did you think of fighting on the uh, old school canvas with the old logo? <laughs> that was sick, man. You know, I've watched that when I was a kid, seeing that, seeing that logo on the ring just kind of, you know, I felt like I was able, blessed to be able to fight on this, you know, this event, the 25th anniversary. It's, it's amazing, man. Cool. cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks so much, guys. Congrats. Congrats.